Something special about plants is they can be passed on from generation to generation. And the best part is you think of your loved ones each year when they bloom. That's why Everybody Gardens editor Doug Oster suggests giving the gift of plants for Mother's Day. Good morning. Good morning. So I want to talk with you first, though, about our segment last week on the Daffodil Farm. You got just a huge response. Yeah, I had a, had a lot of response from gardeners that wanted to go down to Washington County, the Joe Hams Daffodil Collection. And uh, it was, you know, people were touched by the story. It was mm -hmm. really nice. And also I heard from the farm that uh, a lot of people did come down from That's Pittsburgh great. to see those daffodils. You could probably still sneak a visit down there. If you just look at the KDKA website, you can find the, the link to it. All right. Well, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. So let's talk about Mother's Day. And I think this is such a good idea and very touching. Yeah, you know, plants are an important part of Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. But the number one thing, and we, we say this every year, is when you give mom a plant, you also have to plant it. Okay, that's, right. you know, that's part of it. I was at an event yesterday and, and uh, my friend Bonnie who runs the garden at the Sarah Hines house, I told her that and the, her whole family was there, her daughter and her mother, and they're just like, that's what we do, that's what we do. Oh, so, nice. so you have to plant it for mom. I've got two different categories of plants here. Okay. I've got all these, these are the ones I really love. They come back year after year. Like, you know, that, that every time they bloom. You're gonna think of that first. Right. right, but these ones over here will go from frost to frost. Let's start over here. Okay. This one in the back is a leap of faith. There's no flowers on it. What's the number one garden question? Do you remember? Uh, hydrangeas. Why doesn't my hydrangea bloom? This yes. is a hydrangea you could give mom. It's called a smooth hydrangea that will bloom reliably every year. You promise? Promise, promise. <laughs> this is an old fashioned tough one. But again, it doesn't have flowers right now, so so it has to be. You have to give it to a mom who's a real gardener, okay. because when this thing blooms year after year, it, it'll bloom a month later than Mother's Day. Okay. I've got some other ones here though that bloom right at Mother's Day, and down here, this is a plant that used to be really popular. It's called Caria, Caria japonica, and okay. it is the easiest shrub to grow. And look at those pretty orange blossoms. I love that. In the shade, it'll kind of have a weeping form. In mm -hmm. the sun, it just kind of grows upright. It can grow anywhere. It doesn't need anything from us. It's tough as nails. Again, when you're picking a, a plant for mom that's going to come back year after year, you want something that's going to be there. Right, you, and you not don't, something you don't, just, not, yeah. something you have to baby. Uh, azaleas are very, uh, you know, that's something we always give mom. This is not the type of an azalea, though, that will come back year after year. Uh, a lot of times if it was like a, a, a fancier florist variety, it would only go from frost to frost. I see. Uh, I like these, especially, you know, by a little, little container like that, mm -hmm. one gallon container, easy to move, light, already in bloom. Again, every Mother's Day, that's going to bloom. Uh, I also and brought where some. Do you, where would you plant something like that? Does it need shade or sun? Uh, you know, for azaleas, they're an understory plant, which okay. is kind of a morning sun understory plant. A okay. uh, little shady, but it can take sun. It can go just about anywhere. You know, I, I got know. too many plants. I went to Han Nursery yesterday and I went. I, I well, got, I I got excited. In the front is a, a perennial. It'll come back. I, I love red for Mother's Day. It's, I can't even see that one. I it's feel a like it's a, all it's a cone way. flower. Oh, beautiful. Full sun indestructible it's a prairie plant and, okay. and uh, this one here is one of my favorite all-time perennials it doesn't have a common name it only has a Latin name it's called Corridulus lutea this is canary feathers is the variety so just think of a canary mm -hmm. uh, and it just it blooms for a long time perennials a lot of times will only bloom for four weeks six weeks this thing will bloom all summer with these colors and, really and again we'll come back year after year tough as nails and you know roses for mom it's a great idea. This Roses is a, are hard. I, mean, this, I found them all right, hard. I, brought, I got this one. It's called flower carpet rose. Okay. Again, indestructible landscape really? rose. Yes. You just put it in the ground and it's going to go, go, go. Uh, salvia. I love salvia. Uh, so long beautiful. bloomer. Deer will not eat it. Uh, it's from the sage family. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, beautiful color. Again, coming back year after year. Now we move on to another really fun thing for mom. An already planted herb planter. Oh, nice. I was going to say, this looked, is this basil? Yeah, basil, yeah. Uh, which if we got a frost, we'd be in trouble. But everything else in here would be good. But we have a nice container like this. If we got cold, we could bring it inside. Mm -hmm. Now, they, at Han, they had, uh, you know, like one for, this is called for making soup. There's one for Italian cooking. There's one oh, for nice. Mexican cooking. And so, already planted for you. And again, you know, you put what this outside idea. the kitchen. And uh, the other thing for mom is some fertilizer. You know, this is going to set you. Never forget the fertilizer. This is going to set. Mom. This is going to <laughs> set, set you apart from the normal okay. gift giver because 
especially this liquid one for the containers, anything in a container. Okay. You know, every time you water it, just put a little fertilizer in there, and now those plants will go all year long. And okay. so I brought a couple of annuals, again, frost to frost. This is a type of lavender, a very pretty lavender. It's again, so it's not pretty. one that's going to come back, but hey, you got from May all the way through till October for right. that. Uh, a, a new one. This is a star of Bethlehem. Wow. Isn't that cool? As it is as, so neat. As long as you keep cutting off the old flowers, it's going to go nuts for you. So yeah. where do you trim them? Where would you trim uh, something Yeah, like as soon as they're right there. So you as just take the head of the flower off? Yeah, when they, okay. when the, you know, in about a month. And then uh, you know this plant, because I gave you one similar to it. You it did. It smells really nice. It does. Jasmine. Mm. This is something you could have outside on the deck. Again, it's going to get two times, three times as big by the end of the summer, and always going to have those fragrant flowers out right. there. Again, a great reminder. And then mom needs a hanging basket. That's part of it. Yes. You know? And again, we could get another frost. I see everybody planting their tomatoes and you stuff. You still think? You never know. Okay. You know, you got you to gotta wait, wait a week or so. But with the hanging basket, again, if it gets cold, you could bring it in. There's lots of different types of hanging baskets. Again, though, that's something with that little hanging basket... Keep it watered, but keep it fertilized. Yeah. You know? All right, so we need to talk about one other thing. These all are right. all great gift ideas. <laughs> I think Mom would be happy with every single one of them. You have something fun coming up, and it is your plant swap. Yeah, what my is this? annual plant swap and giveaway. Okay. It's um, Sunday, May 20th at Sorgles. You come, you bring your perennials, you have them potted up, you trade with other gardeners. And then I've got two really cool Pittsburgh heirloom tomatoes to give away. One is my one that I've been giving away since 2000. It's called Limba Legacy Potato Top Tomato. It makes big, ugly, meaty tomatoes. So they're yours. What do you, do you, what do you mean by that? Well, it's just that Did I... you create them? No, people gave them to me, oh, okay. and then I made a little program around them. And so that you grow this tomato out, and you save the seeds, and you send the seeds back to me so that we can keep this tomato oh, going. Fun. The other one's called 3945, and it was found by a friend of mine, a friend of a friend, on the battlefield of World War II. He got a tomato and saved the seeds from it, and that's why they call it 3945. Those are the years of the war. Well, good thing you're having it May 20th after Mother's Day, because maybe you get a plan for Mother's Day you don't like. You just bring it down to you. That's right. We'll trade you for something <laughs> right. mom likes. Okay. Thank you so much, <laughs> Doug. You. And we'll be